Oink, oink, oink. Good morning. Let's go camping. Whoops. That's a little close. Got the bike. Hope I get to ride it. You guys all shook up? Vivi? Hey Vivi. What's up buddy? You guys shook up, you don't look so happy. What you having for lunch? Well, I'll show you what I'm having for lunch, but just a second, I gotta show you these. I just bought these rolls two days ago. Look and look, look at the mold. I think it's Penicillium Rocaforte, which, you know, but I don't know that for sure. But anyway, I swear, I looked at this whole package. These are those like take and bake rolls. They weren't in the refrigerator when I bought them. They were on the shelf. You're supposed to be able to bake them. There's nowhere on here that there's an ex, ex, asper, aspiration, aspiration, expiration. There's no expiration date on them. I couldn't find anywhere. Although, you know, obviously they got it expired, but I would have thought they'd have lasted two days. So anyway, I thought these were gonna be really nice rolls, but they're not. They're gonna be garbage or duck food or something. Luckily, I threw in some other um, whole wheat buns. So this is what we're having for lunch. My husband, my husband, he gets the good stuff. So this is potato salad made with uh, vegan mayo, right? And some mustard and dill and stuff like that. And then the, um, what is that black salt called? Something, something all black, all black, all black, a solemn, all black. I don't remember what it's called, but it's that black salt. Anyway, I use that in the in the potato salad. So he's having this potato salad. I'm getting this potato salad, which is good, but it isn't as good and fattening as with that vegan mayo, which I love. So instead, I use um, hearts of palm that I blend up with uh, the mustard and the dill. So it's creamy and it, you know they look they look similar, but it doesn't have that real fatty mayo taste that I love and I need to stop talking about it because I'm getting jealous and anyway so then he's got some coleslaw here with the vegan mayo and sugar yeah and vinegar and I've got coleslaw with the hearts of palm and vinegar and no sugar so anyway it's still good but it's not as good as what he gets because he doesn't care about his health at all. So I could I could feed him anything. I could feed him pure oil and say, there's your dinner. And he'd say, ooh, yum, oil. Oh, uh, anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I'm gonna make those uh, tortas again. I think if you go back a couple of weeks on my channel, you'll see those Mexican tortas that are so good. They'd be much better on those. Nice hot bread, but. So I made homemade refried beans and then, oh, except for this time, instead of using the jackfruit, I actually use the soy curls, but I use the same marinade. So I've got the soy curls with the torta marinade, refried beans, I'm gonna put some tomatoes, pickles, and onions, and then some special sauce. more hours here and then I will then I will go out and socialize
Okay, so it's tradition to have a happy hour where you bring snacks. So all I'm bringing this time is some of my Camembert cheese. The blue cheese wasn't ready. I started it long ago, but it isn't ready yet. So I've got Camembert cheese, and I did buy some of that special paper, but some of this special, um, special cheese paper, because this was actually ready a couple of weeks ago, and I've been like, oh boy, I wanna make sure that this one you know, stays good. So this is special, special cheese paper. But I think, I think this cheese is in really good shape. What are you looking at? Is there smoke? That's smoke. That's fire smoke. <laughs> oh, oh, ow, you just scared the cat. <laughs> oh. So tonight's the potluck and all I want to do is boil a pound and a half of pasta here in my Instapot. I didn't do any research, I didn't know how to get the water to boil. I ended up trying the soup setting, the saute setting, the water didn't boil so I just decided hell I'm going to throw the pasta in there and I'm going to pick the rice setting. But that was a mistake because that, got, that thing got so pressurized and then I couldn't get the pressure released. It took like forever, I caused a flood. Um, but if you guys know what the best way to cook pasta in the Instapot is, let me know. Because the pasta turned out right, but I was in a little bit of a panic for a bit there. Now the sauce from the pasta, I made at home. And I based this recipe on Afro Vegan's curried scalloped potatoes with coconut milk. Except for I added some... Um, I had some cultured cashew herbed cheese that I added to it. And you can see it's like really thick. It's cold now because it's been in the refrigerator. But um, I'm going to warm this up in the microwave and then add it to the hot pasta. So again, this sauce was meant to go over potatoes, but I'm pouring it over pasta. So it's kind of like a mac and cheese, but it's got Jamaican spices in there and then the coconut milk. And listen, it turned out really good. I had people coming up to me saying mine was their favorite dish. And we're talking mine was the only vegan dish up there. So yay, 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 yay. And yes, we have boiled pasta, but holy cow, that went south fast. That water got so hot and then it started steaming and then it took forever to release the pressure and it it didn't take very long guys i'm not sure i'm not sure what this the setting was because i put it on rice and then it got really hot and then i couldn't release the pressure but i did i did so i guess it did work it boiled my pasta and that was the goal but i did have a lot of when I was releasing the steam, it was just all water coming out. So I had a flood, but I, I can recover. I, I'm, like, I'm like Noah. I'm really good with floods. So we're going to clean that up, and we're going to add the sauce, and we will have cheesy Jamaican coconutty pasta. This is what the finished product looked like. It's delicious. So I managed to use my Instapot to boil water and boil pasta, and... Uh, add the sauce and now I'm going to keep it warm and so yes the Instapot did not fail me. Didn't fail me. Looks delicious. You want to know what's in there? I have a feeling there's fish in there. They brought it in my camper and they said don't look in there. This one. 
I think it's fish. I think it's fish that somebody caught that hates fish and they don't like anything fishy, but they like to fish, which means they're just fishing for sport, which that's got to be the worst, right? Okay, so last night around the campfire, people were talking about animals for some reason, of course, and I'm there and I'm listening because I'm part of being around the campfire and people are saying things like, um, Oh, I, I have, uh, they have a dog, you know, they love their dog, whatever, and, and they love cats, but they can't have cats because they're allergic to cats. But then they kept saying, I love all animals. I love all animals, but I can't, I can't have a cat. I love cats, but I can't have a cat because I'm allergic to cats, but I love all animals. But do you really when you say animals, are you only talking about cats and dogs and hamsters and guinea pigs or pets? I love all pets because don't tell me you love pigs and cows and chickens and those are animals. Pigs and cows and chickens are animals, right? Don't tell me you love all animals and then eat them, right? Just don't. So, of course, I didn't say anything. I was good. Because normally, or not normally, but sometimes that kind of shit puts me over the edge and I say something and then it causes a fight. And then I won't have any friends. Shit. I need friends. I love my friends. But I wish they wouldn't say things like, I love all animals. And then eat them. Don't eat them then. 